Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth James and welcome back to The Sims Mobile. So we've had a huge update, right? It's the Fashionista update and oh my goodness, it's huge. There is so much going on in this update. This is the Creator Sim 2.0. It's amazing. Let's go through the patch notes so you know what is coming up with this update. So it's like, as I said, it's Creator Sim 2.0. They have done a complete makeover of the shopping and styling experience for Sims. You can peruse fashions by brand, browse the full screen store catalogue and dress up your Sims from a dedicated closet. And you can also now access Creator Sim directly from the main game. There's makeovers, which you can now customise toddlers, children and all of the adults in your household plus the games sims that are around town, like your non-playables. You can do this with a fee of life tickets, which used to be called heirloom tickets. They've now changed all of that. We now have life tickets, not heirloom tickets. With this update, you have better control over family dynamics. Children and offspring no longer grow old, grow older, I should say, automatically. You can choose when they grow up, which is fantastic a lot of people have wanted that and along with that elders no longer move out without your approval they don't they won't just say you know when you've gone in your game and it said such and such is moving out it's like no i want them to stay you now no longer will have that problem so it will reduce the chance of accidental birthdays and retirements and such nature you can also have multiple babies in your household now at the same time as long as you've got multiple bassinets whereas before we can only have one baby you can now have multiple and if your household becomes too full you can remove any sims who have overstayed their welcome <laughs> we have a new stylish story called a cut above that takes your sim to an experience of being a hairstylist it's the first story that requires the completion of another story which is the trending now fashion story it's available in the fashion studio in Market Square. You need to buy the stylist chair at the venue to begin. We will have a look, a brief look at that in this video. I am going to make a special video centred around that new story. And there are some little bug fixes and some general story updates as well. We will take a look at that, about these the story updates because the stories have got a little bit different with this update. So, as you can tell by the patch notes, it's a very cas centered update. It's all about create a sim. You can see we have this new icon on the screen on the left-hand side now. The create a sim little uh, t-shirt on a hanger there. So, you can access that straight from here. So, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the create a sim. It's amazing. I've seen images of this, but I haven't seen it live in person. I am really looking forward. Wow. I just love it. I just love the clean white look of it. It's quite different. It is quite different. So you can see on the left side, we have three different options. So let's let's start off with, we have DNA, the first one, which is where we can choose skin color, first name, second name, gender. And you can also do the randomization there. And then you have got, this is where, you, where we used to have the sliders before, We've got this option, these options in here, but there's just more of them. So let's just go into, let's have a look. We've got head, there's various different heads. What's more options? Okay, so the more options is the sliders. So you can choose from presets. And then if you go into more options, so the sliders are completely different to how they used to be. You do have to let go of them. You slide release to apply. I like the look of this sim. I don't want to change her too much. I think she's a really pretty, pretty sim. I like her. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can see there that changes, changes the look there. So we have the presets and then the sliders and the more options. And I assume that goes kind of with maybe not hair actually, but with everything. So nose, you've got your presets of your noses and then you can go in and do your sliders on those. What else do we have? So we have head, eyes, nose, mouth, ears, eyebrows. Oh, let's, let's take a little look how hair is working. So hair, okay, so the ones that we have purchased are in here. 
and then if there's yeah shop more hair you can click on the shop more hair that will take you over to the shop but right now we're staying over in dna i like how this is working to be honest so that is so there's the overview and there's all the extra little stuff and then we have the body okay so that was all the face face items and then we have the body where we have body shape with the predetermined uh the six predetermined and then you've got more options within that that you can adjust as you would like there i like this so much better than how it was before where you had that kind of like a crosshair right this is much better much better so they have the body shape and then there's fitness the four different options there are soft <laughs> i love it soft and then yeah, you can then you've then got your slide there for fitness as well that's fantastic okay so that's kind of like the dna section and then if we go into closet so in closet it's now separated it was before the things that you had purchased and the things that you hadn't yet purchased were all just lumped into one section it is now that we have the closet and we have the shop so closet is everything that you've already bought obviously it's in your closet and it's separated into four separate items this is something that I love this whole brand thing. I haven't explored it at all, but they've separated all the clothes out into brands. You can see that I have quite a few of some different, some of the different black, black, blah, 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 can't speak, <laughs> brands there. So we've got like, so say that the 925, these are the items that they categorize in the 925 brand. And then once you go in it, you can also go and shop more by just clicking on the more and it will take you into the store for that which i just think oh it's fantastic i just love how it is all laid out so say like the clementine these are all the clementine items that i have and if i wanted to buy more of that brand i can just hop over to here and it will show me so obviously the ones that aren't ticked are the ones that i can go ahead and purchase if i would like to back into the closet so yeah that is the all the different brands the next one along is apparel which it's just it's the clothes but not in the brand it's just kind of organizing it differently for you really so we, as opposed to the brand you're organizing it by type so tops bottoms outfits legwear footwear hats glasses earrings necklaces braces braces watches <laughs> And bracelets. I like how this is done. There's more categories. It's. I feel like it will be easier to find the things that I want. And the next one along is hair and makeup salon. So this is where you can do hair, and obviously any hair that you have already purchased is in here. Any eyebrows, any eyeshadow, eyeliner, any blush that you've already purchased is in here. And if you want to shop more, there is that icon that will take you through so you can go ahead and buy more. And then you have the Izzy's Special Creations, the final one along all the items that you have created with Izzy are over here. Obviously that the male ones aren't valid for this sim, so they're still shown, but it's just saying that they're not valid for this sim. I don't have very many special creations there. I need to work on is these special creations but there is the second section the closet section and the final one is the shop which has three sections where it, the first one is the brands so you can see all of the different brands that there is available and you can just click through one of them and it will show you all of the different items of items of furniture, I was gonna say, <laughs> items of clothing that fall under that brand. And it doesn't show you the price of them, which I guess is, it's kind of annoying, I, I think, that it doesn't show you the price, but I understand why it doesn't because of the whole swatches thing, which I know is very unpopular. Uh, it's unpopular with me as well, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan, I'm gonna say I'm not a huge fan, I'm not a fan at all of the buying uh, different colours, uh, the swatches for more money. So you have to actually click through, so say what well, you want this one, you have to click through and each one, this is a nice top, 
<laughs> nice little lava drop, but each one is a different amount of money, and so it can't show you how much it costs on that main screen, which is kind of a bit of a pain, to be honest, but I understand like how it can't happen with having different colour swatches. It's really it's it's probably one of the worst things in the Sims well, not one, the worst thing in the Sims maybe out, in all honesty, the whole colour swatch thing, but uh, yeah, let's let's not get into that. So <laughs> the next one along, we have the brands, and then the next one along is to shop by a power type. So as before with the closet, you have the brands, and then you have the type. Same thing here, we have all the different types of apparel and you can just go into, it'll have a nice green tick if you've already bought it and then the ones that you haven't bought won't have that green tick and also it does show you how many of the swatches. So see here this sleek and sporty bikini top here, I have five out of six so I can't actually buy that one because it was from an event but if you can buy Let's find one that I haven't bought all of the swatches for. I don't feel like I've bought many. See this one. Are you cold back to sweater? I have one of four. If I click through there, you can see that I have purchased that one. I could also then purchase the additional colours if I like. They're extortionate prices, so I would not like to purchase them in all honesty, but there you go, all of the clothes are there organised by either the brands or the apparel type, however you prefer to kind of look at it I suppose. And then we've got the hair and makeup salon here which is any hair, eyebrows, eyeshadow and liner, blush, lipstick and gloss that you haven't bought. It does show the ones that you have bought as well actually in here, it shows everything. Which I suppose is good. Oh, I like that. Bold highlights. I have not seen that before, to be honest. That's a nice hairstyle. So yeah, it's got everything, everything in there with the green ticks, obviously, for the ones that you have already got. You can see here, unlocked by the a cut above story. That's what we were just talking about, right? This cut, a cut above story. They are some classy designs there. So that is. That is the new Create a Sim and I just, I love it. I love how it looks. Uh, definitely a fan of that. So let's, we can exit without saving because I, I don't know what I've put in there, but let's <laughs> exit without saving that. It's taken a while to load since I've updated the game. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this long loading time in between like, going into different locations or going into Create a Sim. Definitely for me, it's a long time. We will take a little look at stories because stories has changed as well. Hang on, let's go all stories. And you can see here, it looks a little bit different. It's just, I mean, nothing, nothing major, but a little bit different. I've completed kind of most of the stories. If we go, let's just go into one. You can see, you can see here right at the bottom, They've added additional like chapters to the story. You're not going to lose anything that you've unlocked, so that's okay if you completed the story. Because you know, as you can see, I've completed all more or less all of the stories, and you're not going to lose the fact that you've completed them. But there is extra. Like if you if you bother about filling up this bar along the bottom. You're going to have to go back and complete them all again because that looks like there's a chapter for every level of each story. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's ten. There's ten chapters and ten levels. So I have to go through and complete all of those again, I think. But that's that's no problem. That's fine. And then if we check out here, we have a new quest. We have Good Hair Day. And we have Glamorize, so good hair day, there's a new stylist career and now's our chance. And Glamorize is let's expand our wardrobe, buy new, two new accessories or makeup. But the good hair day is the one that we are bothered about. Buy and place the stylist career station. So what we want to do is let's head out onto the town map and go to Market Square. And then once you're over at Market Square, if you click on your build menu, 
you can see that we've got a new icon here, a cut above. If we go there, we have this styling chair that costs 2720 and two llama tokens. That when you place that down, let's place it down. Oh, you can place and have different colours, but of course, um, are they more money or are they? No, no, no. I think they're the same. No, they're, they're a little bit more money, maybe. Do we care about the colour? I don't think we do. Let's go for black. Let's, let's place that down. So you need to place, place that down there. And then once it is placed, Quest complete. We've done the good hair day. And there, hair today, gone tomorrow. Finally a chance to prove I can actually style hair and do makeup. Start a cut above career story. So we will bring, I mean this sim has no career, so let's start it. A cut above a stylist story. Let's get that started. One out of ten, a cut above. Oh, I missed what she said. I think she said something about a, a llama channel, a llama tube channel or something that she was doing. That is quest completed there. And that, yeah, that kickstarts a four-day limited time event. The reward is growing in stylist career, complete to earn exclusive hairstyle colours. So they're the hairstyles that we've just seen in the creator sim. And I am going to do this quest in another video that I will link down below. <laughs> Let's take a look at the fact that we can give makeovers to any sim. So if you just click on any sim, you can see underneath their name, Steve Huang, it says makeover. When we click on that, it takes us into the, the cast menu here. Now with this, we can use clothes that we've already purchased and it will be free or we can use clothes from the shop which will cost us life looms are they called life looms i don't i've just completely made that up that they're called life looms let's let me let's take a little look at what they are actually called they are called life tickets okay they're called life tickets i don't know why they've changed from being heirloom tickets but they're now called life tickets and you can just go into closet and so yeah it's if you're making let me actually just check this if you're doing that doesn't seem buy new clothing or hair and this makeover is free i don't know what that means what does that mean So if we go into the shop and buy new stuff, I mean, honestly, I don't think this is something that I will probably do. But I mean, let's should we buy him a jacket. Do you want that? Do you want to wear that jacket? Let's purchase that for him. Because you purchased a new item, this makeover is now free. Oh, okay. So it's not a case of if you're using stuff that you already have. It's just if you buy something new, you have to buy one thing new. And then I've just bought one new thing. And I now change his bottoms for free. I can now change, okay, I can now change his bottoms for free or any other element of him because I've purchased one. Let's put him in pajamas. Um, no, I'm liking that one. Yeah, because I, because I bought one item, everything is free. There we go. Apply that free makeover <laughs> for him. So if that's your thing, if you, you know, if you really do like the creator sim and you want to create lots of different sims, like, and really customise your whole town, you can do that. See what I mean about the loading? That is a long loading time, right? So, yeah, you can, you can do that if you want to and stylize all the sims that are around the town. Something that I am very excited for is the fact that we can now have more than one baby. It always used to drive me insane. You can see we have a baby here. As long as you've got another bassinet down, you can go ahead and you can get another baby, which we could never do before. So now we're going to have twins. We have twins. You see her float down. Lana Claus. I'm still rocking my uh, 
my Christmas theme there. This is the, the Santa lineage here that we're <laughs> we are still rocking. But there you go, we have got two babies, as you can see there. And once they are able to become a toddler, you don't have to automatically make them become a toddler. You can, they don't have their birthday until you choose to have their birthday. You can keep them for little tiny babies forever if you want. You can only age them up once they have got old enough so you can't straight away so like right now I've just had these babies I can't make them into toddlers straight away I have to wait until they're able to become a toddler but it doesn't have to happen as soon as they're able if that makes sense so you can see at the moment this baby we've just done the bundle of joy with this baby they're not yet ready to age up so we can't do anything about it they have to stay a baby right now until they are ready to become a toddler so so you can't speed up the process but you can slow it down which is fantastic so there you go that is a little look at the fashionista update in the sims mobile i love it to be honest i love the whole create a sim i just i love how it's there's just a big overhaul of it it's definitely definitely a, a winner in my book i'd love to know what you do think about it so do let me know down below in the comments i will link down below a video for this new event the four day limited time event with the whole hairstylist career if you're interested in watching that but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and i will see you soon for another video thanks for watching bye